but yet I still hear you calling my name. Amen. You know, the, the kind of love that Jesus has, I want you to look at that on today. The kind of love that Jesus has, the Bible says that if you make your bed in hell, God said, I'm there too. Amen. Amen. So I ain't going to hell for you. Y'all hear me though? Y'all hear what I'm saying? Amen. But Jesus said, I go there. He said he's going to stay there. But he said, if you make your bed in hell, I'll die out there. He said, no, I'll be with you always, even until the ends of the earth. Your mama might want to be with you. Amen. Amen. You know, my mama didn't want to leave me, but she had to go. Amen. She had to go. But Jesus said, I'll be with you always, even until the end. Well, when is the end? Ain't no end. Ain't no end. We, we moving on into eternity. Anybody moving into eternity? Oh, come on. I saw Sister Dot hand going first. <laughs> I'm living today so I can live tomorrow. Amen. I told one of my friends on the other day, I said, you know, some people live day to day like they don't have to die. Amen. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Amen. You, you know, if you do something, one thing that I love about God is he's a God of a second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, infinity. Okay? Chance. You know, God is that kind of God. He'll go with us to the end. But some people, we live like we ain't got to die. Y'all hear me? That's why when you go to bed at night, regardless to what you did all through the day, Minister Morris, don't you close your eyes without telling God to forgive you. Because you don't know when death is going to overtake you. The thing about God, God is a merciful God. People, some folks have to die to get saved. Amen. Do y'all hear me? Uh -huh. Some folks just mind just messed up so bad, they just tore up. God just had to take them out of here for them to go to heaven with him. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the truth. Y'all wonder why some people leave us early. God knows what lies ahead. We don't know. We sitting here missing them. God knows what's before us because he made the, the ending before he made the beginning. So because he did that, he knows what lies ahead. So that's why Evangelist Marlo, we can live intentionally. Amen. Amen. We can live intentionally because all things are working for my good. Because he's intentional. Can I tell you, nothing just happens, sister. Nothing Amen. just happens. Nothing. I don't care what it is. Nothing just happens. I heard one of the preachers, uh, uh, Mike Murdoch, as a matter of fact, and I don't agree with a lot of things. One thing he said, he said, God ain't in control of everything. How you gonna say that? He said, God is not in control of people getting raped and people getting molested and keep people getting beaten. Listen, I beg to differ. Because God said these things are gonna happen. But then he turned around and said, but all things. Come on, work together for the good. Amen? Amen. Now sometimes you can't see any good in that. But can I tell you, because God is controlling you and controlling the universe, God knows that it's going to work out for your good. The truth be told, if some of y'all wouldn't have got in trouble, you wouldn't have got saved. Amen. I'm just going to tell you. Better, you better tell it. If, hello? If some of us wouldn't have been strung out on drugs, amen, drinking all the liquor we can drink, doing everything we big enough and bad enough to do, we wouldn't have been saved. God sometimes has to allow the enemy to take us through transition. Huh? He has to allow him. See, now I'm going to tell y'all something. And God is only good. So when these folk tell y'all this crazy stuff about your mother did something God don't like because you sick, curse that devil to his face because the devil is a liar. God is a God of healing. Yes. There is no evil in God whatsoever. Don't let nobody tell you that God did it. Yes, God will allow the enemy to do it, but it's always for his glory. Amen. 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 Come on now, sometimes things happen. You know, I was reading an article on this morning, and it talked about growing pains. And, 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 and you know, we, we take for granted that children just go through growing pains. And, and if anybody ever felt growing pains, they physically hurt. Yes. Huh? They hurt. When your bones are moving and growing, they hurt. But when you go through a natural and a spiritual growing pain, they hurt too. Yes, they do. Come on, I'll tell the truth. Uh -huh. Anybody been in the church and been hurt? Amen. Well, can I tell you, don't leave and get mad. Amen. Huh? You, what you say, Mr. Morris? Amen. Because if you don't stay there, it's like a boomerang. Until you pass the test, you can't elevate. Amen. Y'all hear what I'm saying? See, that's the problem with us. When things get bad, we want to leave. 
And we think that we live it, but you got to go through it in order to get through it. Amen. You hear what I'm saying? You got Amen. to go through it. You might not like it. It don't taste good. It don't feel good. And it sure don't look good. Amen. But it's working for your good. Amen. Amen. It's working for your good. You need to understand that concept. And that's what I'm living by. I thank God for our theme for 2016. It is intentional. Amen. Y'all hear what I'm saying? It's intentional. So when you go through your storm, I ain't going to tell you you're going to be smiling all the time because you're going to have some growing pains. Amen. It's going to hurt. But at the end of the day, come on now, y'all remember that casserole? Yeah, y'all remember that stuff? Oh, God. That was the worst in that car I live all. Anybody see you young folk don't know nothing about that. <laughs> but I, I remember in that sassafras tea and all that old nasty stuff Grandma used to give us. But we had all this stuff we got now. Y'all hear what I'm saying? I, I can remember picking up the phone and calling Grandma, Grandma, so-and-so going on. She had a remedy for it. And it sounded nasty, but it worked. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Amen. It worked. Come on, y'all. Grandma's in here. Amen. And some of y'all, that, that stuff worked. It didn't taste good, but at the end of the day, you, you sweat that cold. Y'all remember all that stuff they used to give us? That peppermint and that moonshine, y'all remember? <laughs> Come, what you say? I tell you what, when you wake up in the morning, you ain't have no cold. <laughs> it all had come out your paws, amen? Amen. Well, see, that's how God does us. Amen. It don't always taste good. But when you wake up in the morning, that's why the scripture says, weeping may endure for a night. But joy comes in the morning. Amen. amen. And somebody need to say it's morning time. It's morning time. I, I, I heard a prophet when prophet was praying, and prophet was saying, this is the season. Amen. You got to know when your season is. Amen. You got to know when it is your season and when it's your season, don't get scared. I ain't talking about no tax season either. Amen. Some of us want to wait until them taxes drop. Was that January 15th? When did anybody tax get to? I don't get none. I wait till April. So I can't tell you when the taxes drop. Don't nobody know? Ain't no, ain't no taxes. Yeah. So not when the taxes drop. Last week. What you say? Last week they buy cars already. Cut what you said. New tags everywhere. Okay now. <laughs> Amen. But see, the bottom line is this. When it's your season, you don't have to wait for tax season. How many know that God will bless you even when it's not tax season? Amen. If you do what's right, God has to do what he said. I'm telling y'all, God is not a liar. I believe that you can walk up on the collar and get the car you want. I believe it. Why? Because God's principle is the same. If you give your tithes and your offerings, God has to honor his word. Amen. Amen. So it ain't just happening. Y'all just don't get scared. Y'all want a new house? Amen. Come on, you want a new house? Amen. You ain't got to have not one penny. Amen. Y'all hear me? If you want the new house, you got favor. You just do what God say. God, you have a God business. God going to take care of yours. Y'all hear what I'm saying? I'm telling you what I know. God is going to take care of your business. I didn't, you know, I really didn't get up to say all of that this morning, but I'm just saying, you know, I, I was just meditating on the word, you know, this morning on the way, even on the way here this morning, and how a lot of times we just take for granted that, you know, that God is going to do this and God is going to do that. Yes, he is going to do it, but we have to do something. Bro, there's something that we have to do. If we want God to come into our life and to do things for us, and, and, and I believe I've got some witnesses in here on this morning. Do I have any witnesses? Amen. I have some witnesses that God will do for you more than you could ever do for yourself. And you know, I say no more of this stuff where we try to dictate to people who God going to bless. Huh? Who God going to save? Because he said he gives his spirit to them that ask. Y'all hear what I'm saying? He gives his spirit. All you got to do is ask. Amen. Lord, give me your spirit. I want your spirit. I need your spirit in my life so that I can function and motivate and transport through this world. Amen. So I'm getting ready to sit down, but I want to sing this one more song. I 